In this episode, I'm going to cover formatting text on the fly. I'll change the input of text to lowercase, and then I'll change the input of text to uppercase. I'll do this by creating text formatters to do the job. So to get started, I'm going to go to Android Studio where I've created a simple project to get started. And this has a scaffold and a list view. And in this list view, I have a text field. You could also use the text form field, but they both do the same job. In this case, what I want to do is add an input formatter. And over here on the left, you can see that it's rendered already. And I want to say when I type in Brandon Donaldson, I want to force this to be all lowercase. So how would I do that? I'm going to go over to my text field. And one of the properties I want to change is the input formatter. So I want to add. So that will be a constructor argument here. So what I want to do, type in input formatters. It auto assists and says, OK, you can auto complete me. What I want to do is this is an array. So I'm going to type in the array or in a list. And I'll do it in line here. And what I want to do is go new, lower case, and, and and finish this here in a moment. So what I want to do is go up and create a new utils package, new utils package, which is a folder, utils. And I want to create a library in this folder. I'm going to go right click new file, or I can do dart file for library. And what do I want to name this? I want to name it formatters dot dart for my formatters dot dart library. Expand that. Open that up. And so what is a formatter? What does it look like? Well, it's something that extends text input formatter. So I can go class lower case text formatter matter and extends text input formatter. And I'll complete the class and I'll hit alt enter on it. And it asks me, auto assists, asks me to import the library. It imports at the top. Well, it has a requirement. So I'll alt enter on it and say, create one missing override. So this class interface says, OK, I need to say I need to return form edit update with a text edit value. So what does that mean? I'm going to auto format here with command option L on my IDE and system. That's what it is. And what I need to do is return a text edit value. Well, the it gives me the old value and new value. Well, I want to modify the new value when it comes in to say, if there's uppercase in it, make it all lowercase. Well, I can't mutate this instance. So what I need to do is I'm going to go new value, new value, copy with. So I, so I can copy the other items in it or other members in it. Let's just look at member text editing value. What do I mean by that copy with? Well, it has a selection, text, and composing arguments. So it keeps this. I want to keep the selection piece of this and, and only change or mutate the text value. So if I go back to formatters, and I'm going to go copy with, copies everything, except I want to go text. I want to change you to new value dot text. I'm going to get that value to lowercase. So that means everything that comes in that's uppercase is going to be mutated to lowercase. So let's use that. I'm going to use that. Copy the type. Go back to the main. And in this case, I'm going to replace this placeholder here. Paste. Completed. And then what I need to do is Alt Enter on it. And this auto sys will tell me I can import the library. It is now imported at the top. And now I can hit hot reload, the lightning button up here. And let's just reload it. OK, I'm going to hit a backspace. And you'll see the B and the D go to lowercase, because that now runs through the formatter. So let's just break on that real quick and see what it does. I'm going to add a breakpoint, go back to main. And I'm going to hit Shift D, Shift, or, or Shift, uh, let's go in for my last name. OK, let's just look at that, inspect the variables here. Let's just go down to the bottom here, variables, inspection, new value. You can see there's some other properties in this object. And text, you can see the uppercase in. And then when the lowercase, it mutates it to uh, 
uh, lowercase. So let's just resume over here on the left. Resume. Okay, it resumes. So I now I'm now forcing or formatting the value that's typed in to lowercase. So that's pretty cool. What if I wanted to add a second uh, formatter that does something different? Well, I could go here and add a second formatter that says, you know, add a number to each each value as well. I'm not going to do that in this case, but I also I forgot to show what the formatters can do as well. So let's just go to the text input formatter, command click, and go to the top and look at the docs real quick. A text input formatter can be optionally injected into the edib editable text to provide you as a type validation to formatting of the text and the text which is being edited. So it can also do some validation and I'm not going to cover that in this episode, but uh, you feel free to look that up in the guide or ask in Stack Overflow. And by the way, I'm going to put the source code that I, I create here in this video in the description below. Okay, so let's create an, uh, one more formatter and let's call it the uppercase formatter. So I'm going to go back to my formatters library and I'm going to create a second one and I'm just going to copy the first as a template. Oop, I'm inside that. So I need to copy the class entirely and paste it in and I'm going to say uppercase uppercase text formatter. So I'm going to change this to to uppercase so it mutates it to uppercase or changes it to uppercase. Oop, auto assist didn't quite get it there. Get it right. So I've now created an uppercase. I'm going to copy this, go back to the main and replace my formatter to uppercase. So I'm going to save it, which hot reloads it. You can saw it blink up there. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to backspace now. It's a saved state, so it kept where I'm at, but I'm going to go ahead and backspace. Okay, now that worked. It went through the formatter and returned it as uppercase. So if I type in another lowercase, you can see it's lowercase on the keyboard, and, and it formats it to uppercase. So that's pretty cool. That's nifty. You can use that in your application development to force formatting on on what's being typed in into the input value. Okay, so that concludes this video showing how to use text formatters in this episode. Thanks for watching today. Follow me for more tips and tricks on Flutter, and I'll catch you later.